Hello and welcome! In today's video, I will be diving into the brushes in Avis Paint X. To access brushes, either tap on the circle on the bottom bar or the paintbrush icon on the left hand toolbar. You'll notice that there are three tabs of brushes basic, custom, and online. Basic contains lots and lots of pre programmed brushes. There are sharp brushes for details, airbrushes for shading, and lots of other fun brushes as well. I like using the sequin pens and chains to give my characters some pizzazz in their outfits. There's also leaf and grass brushes, which are great for drawing outdoor backgrounds. If you find a brush that you really like and don't want to have to scroll forever to get to it in the future, tap on the plus button and it will be added to your custom brushes. Under custom pens, you will see all your custom saved pens and the last four brushes you've used. Your custom pens are either Ibis paint brushes that you've saved from the presets or online brushes you found under the online tab. Let's check out the online tab. I recommend checking out the online tab at least once a month to find new brushes that creators just like you have made. They're free and they can be really cool to use. If you find one you like, just click on install brush and it will appear under your custom brushes. You can edit the name of a brush under the settings tab. There are also lots of things you can do to make a brush your own. I recommend playing around with these settings and seeing what you like. Also, I wanted to remind you that all of these brushes can also be used as erasers. Simply switch to eraser and then select the pen you want to use as an eraser. I also figured I'd touch on the smudge and blur tools in this video, since they're both simple enough that they probably don't require their own videos. Blur gives your art a gentle soften, and smudge allows you to drag around your art. When I think of these two tools, I always picture blur as something reminiscent of tears, like how tears blur your eyes, and I think the smudge tool would be great to draw a tie-dye on someone's clothes. Just like the pen and eraser, you can change the brush type with smudge and blur. I like fiddling around with the opacity to affect how strongly the blur works. And with that, we have completed my tutorial on Ibis Paint X pens. For more tutorials on this app, please check out my channel. Let me know if you have any questions about any Ibis Paint features, and I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day.